Don't you know we're talking about a revolution sounds yeah. Yep. We may as well make this a political reality. Well, <laughs> unaccustomed as I am to speaking, <laughs> I just wondered if you've been following the news about uh, how some of our colleagues are, seem to be very upset about the issue of birth control. Have you been following? Oh, yeah. And um, it kind of, I was, I'm hardly ever at a loss for words, which all of you know, whether you're my fans or not. But at some at some point, I felt I could barely, somebody's not my fan. Okay. I'll see you later. Um, the, the point is, at some point, I, I lost the ability to express my feelings about why it is we need to have more women in the United States Senate. and difficult and winding road to, to get there. And when I ran with Senator yeah. Feinstein, uh, you remember, maybe, in 1992, we became the first two women to represent any state wow. in the union. We made history because of you, those of you who are from California. And after that, there were two women from Maine, one, and two women from Washington State. So this thing is contagious. All right, Washington State. So. So after all this hard work, we had the Year of the Woman. We tripled our numbers in 1992. That sounds great, but we went from two to six yeah. <laughs> out of 100. Yeah. And now we're at about 17, and we're 52% of the country and 17% of the Senate. So anyhow, as I see what's happening with trying to zero out funding for Planned Parenthood and the breast cancer screenings and uh, all the things that they do, and then uh, someone took to the airwaves and called a woman some awful names who uh, did nothing more than speak her heart. And uh, then I saw a hearing where the subject was birth control for women and women's health, and what not one woman was on the panel. Uh, you know, all this, and now we're having trouble getting the violence against women passed, and today the governor of Pennsylvania said, we're going to demand a sonogram if a woman is looking at uh, exercising her right to choose, we're going to demand it, and the reporter said, well, what if she doesn't want to do it? They said, well, she can close her eyes during the sonogram. So, so, so all these things, one on top of the other, led me to say, I don't really have the words to say how I feel about the need for more women. So I turned to three Oscar-winning writers, Marvin Hamlish, Marilyn, and Alan Bergman. The Bergmans were supposed to be here, but they are trapped in Los Angeles actually writing another song. But, but if you go on um, YouTube and you type in a woman's voice Boxer's song. This is the song that they wrote and recorded by a wonderful jazz artist, Tierney Sutton. Woo! Some of you know her. And I just hope you, whatever party you're in or you're not in a party, I just think the issue of more women's voices is coming to the fore. And I would be so thrilled if you could go up and, and listen to it and then decide if you agree and then help us because there's not enough women's voices. Um, you certainly have them in Palm Springs with Jenny Folk. So uh, thank you very much. Don't you know how talking about a revolution it sounds like a whisper while they're standing in the welfare lines, crying at the doorsteps of those armies of salvation.